Good evening. We are coming to you from the Dalit Welfare Association office at a time when the community seems to be very, very angry and upset. As Prime Minister Modi was standing and speaking to the nation from the Red Fort, a major chunk of the community was gathered in Una as part of the Dalit Pride March. We have the representatives from the community. We also have the BJP's SCST Morcha convener with us today. We have Bezwada Wilson, a Max AC Award winner, and also a Dalit activist. We have Dalit writer Chandravan Prasad joining us. Uh, and we'll be speaking to all of them in just a bit about what's happening there, especially about the fresh violence that has been reported from Huna. Before we speak to our uh, guests, let's just speak here some of the people who were affected last time and the police uh, and what they are saying about what's caused the fresh violence. Lokhani Paipo, Hoki, Pathar and Dhoka. Baju maa amara pachasa khut chetti poli se yati, athiyar dhari. Ye loko bilkul amari madad maa yavan hota. Polis te kuch karwai ni ki, puri tarah se gauru akshokole puri dalit samoy ko terrorist karke rakhe u naam hai. E din un loko ko samjaya bhi gaya, lekin wo nahi maane. Bees to maddar arrest kiye gaye hai, aur chhe to maddar hospitalized hai. So when NDTV asked the Gujarat government and the spokespersons, we asked them to come on the show as well to speak about this. When we asked them what they felt about this fresh violence, why Dalit community in Gujarat is so angry and people from across the country are joining them, they said that it's a conspiracy to malign the Gujarat government. That's what they're saying. And so just to get a reaction on that from uh, our guest today, Bezwara Wilson, when the Gujarat government uh, they refuse to come on any such discussion, but what they are saying is that it's all a conspiracy, it's a law and order problem, and to make more of this is a conspiracy to malign the government. What do you make of that reaction? No, it is absolutely a irresponsible statement. We, they cannot say that this kind of a words. When the Dalits, they want to, they just self-respect and the dignity and coming and talking about that, how can it be a law and order problem? It cannot be. And it is not also as a reactionary or anything. We are just saying that we don't want to skin your animals. We are not asking my animal you skin. If I ask somebody to skin my animal, you can say that I am doing something wrong. All these centuries you did that. Today I am saying that I don't want to do that. It is a very simple in the democratic country, if we don't have even that kind of a right, what kind of a democracy and how can you make this as an law and order? It can't be at all. They must understand the anger, anguish of the Dalits of this country. This is the Una is a just one small example actually. Right. Across the country, everybody is, we are, I am also not happy be here in this country. There is a, so much problems, we are every day and in, we are finding the difficulty. And why nobody is talking about that? And including yesterday's the Prime Minister's speech, he has not even mentioned a single word about the, the citizens who are dying in the sewer line. Mm -hmm. Where our flag goes up, there the, our citizens are living their life inside the sewer lines. 1,370 people when they died, we have given to the Prime Minister about this memorandum. We expected that the Prime Minister will definitely announce an action plan when are they going to stop killing us in the sewer lines? Not even a single word. Definitely I feel unhappy. And I will express my anguish and definitely gussa hote hai. Kyu nahi hote hai? Dushan ji, aapne suna Bezwana Wilson kya keh rahe hai? You can see, I mean... Mera manna jay hai, joh Wilson ji ne kaha hai, Bharati Janta Party or Bharati Janta Party Sasi Sasan ke हमारे प्रधानमंत्री इस चीज के लिए कटिबद्ध है कि महिला ढोने की और किसी भी गंदे काम को हमसे देश को कलंक से मुक्त करना है इसके लिए सरकार ने अनेकों ने सामाजिक न्याय अधिकारिता हमारे मंत्रालय काम चला रहा है महिला ढोने वालों के लिए हम उनको ड्राइविंग का लाइसेंस दे रहे हैं ड्राइविंग के लिए उनको सिखा रहे हैं अनेकों ने काम पे प्लेसमेंट भी उनका कर रहे हैं ये महिला ढोना कलंक है ये देश के लिए हम भी मानते हैं इस पर को और जिस प्रकार से एट्रोसिटी की आप घटना की बात करें पूरे देश के अंदर उसकी भर्सना करते हैं देश के प्रधानमंत्री इसकी चिंता भी कर रहे हैं लगातार पहले ही प्रधानमंत्री हैं जिन्होंने खुलकर ऐसा बोला है मेरा मानना यह है कि ये घटनाएं बढ़ रही हैं सामाजिक बुराई है इसको सबको मिलकर सभी राजनीतिक दलों को करना चाहिए मैं okay, okay. लेकिन ये ऊना में जो टूरिज्म कर रहे हैं लोग बात ये आंध्र प्रदेश क्यों नहीं जाते 
ये दादरी के अंदर तो जाते हैं घटना पर बाराबंकी के अंदर लड़की के साथ बलात्कार होता है उसको जान से मार मार दिया वहां नहीं जाते ये ये बरेली नहीं आते ये केरल में गया अभी केरल के अंदर उनतीस साल की लड़की जो एलएलबी एल कर रही है उसके बलात्कार करके मार दिया गया ये कहीं ना कहीं मुझे ऐसा लगता है ये, ये, ये आप चिंता दलितों की नहीं है अभी सबने कहा कि प्रधानमंत्री बोलते नहीं है प्रधानमंत्री ने बोला तो तीस दिन बाद क्यों बोले जब तीस दिन बाद बोला तो कहते पार्लियामेंट में क्यों नहीं बोले प्रधानमंत्री के बिना किए भी हमारी सरकारें जितने अगर उन्होंने मार्च जो लोग वहां पे लोगों को ये कर रहे हैं प्रवीण यू हर्ड वॉट दुष्यंत गौतम हु इज द एस सी मोर्चा चीफ ऑफ द बीजेपी वॉट ही फील्स अबाउट द काइंड ऑफ प्रोटेस्ट दट आर हैपनिंग इन ऊना ही he says that these are these are in a way uh, manufactured because he feels they are not going to other places how do you respond to this how do you counter this ji wo andhra pradesh kab jayenge main janna chahta hu wo bareilly kab jayenge wo barabanki kab jayenge wo keral kab jayenge chandrabhan ji jante uttar pradesh se belong karte ji unko bolne dijiye pravin chatar ho raha hai pravin how do you counter this yeah go ahead you know what this uh, this is a uh, age old tactics of uh, BJP and the Sangh Parivar to divert the issue about saying what about that, what about 1863, you know, 1432. So, but then the fact at the ground zero is the Dalits are rising. The fact is they have there has been cases of as atrocities for many many years now, and the Dalits right now they mm -hmm. are rising. And as far as manufacturing. Uh, about the demonstration and the uprising being manufactured is being alleged let me also respond even our freedom fight was manufactured what is manufacturing is if somebody takes the lead if somebody gives a call for an uprising and people uprise that's yes. obviously manufacturing right so so it's it's all like we accept the allegation that is manufactured yes jignesh meivani and his team has risen at the moment when the dalits has been at the receiving end of the atrocities in not just in gujarat but yeah. but in many parts of india and now that they are coming up there yeah. will be allegation from sangh parivar because it doesn't fit into their own propaganda their own ideas of idea okay. of india they want the okay. caste system to okay again. i just want to get Chand against the caste system yeah okay chandrapan prasad yeah. uh you know so we heard we heard praveen over there who who is talking about what made you know he he says that what they are saying is you know it is on expected lines but are you with this vada wilson do you feel that similar anguish that he is saying or do you feel that this is something else that we are not understanding over here how do you see this spate of violence and the anger which refuses to go down despite what he is saying the prime minister speaking <laughs> let me draw <laughs> an international parallel when obama was elected president of america many people in the us many people elsewhere thought that a black has won yes. by fluke when he was elected the second time the entire world clapped that this is the most judicious decision by the american people right. when una first happened flogging uh, i put Uh, uh, accept the argument that it ha it is an incident that has happened. So, uh, but uh, post uh, una protest, yes. post uh, uh, flag ceremony yesterday, mm -hmm. the wide spread attack against Dalits seems to be a judicious decision <coughs> by religious BJP. the government says it is a conspiracy and i think government has a point i sincerely believe that the sangh parivar and the government are in conflict where government wants to do something else sangh parivar you is not is not able to uh, appreciate that and it is, it is fighting back so fight is within, within the uh, within the bjp